Hey, this is Greg here, and I wanted to make a another freeform tip and trick video uh, to show a workflow that I discovered while working on a customer's project here. Um, so many people are using uh, the freeform product to uh, make braces, right? Orthopedic, OMP, uh, prosthetic orthopedic applications. And uh, there's a lot of offsetting involved in those workflows, right? Uh, so today, what I wanted to do is show uh, an alternate way of doing some offsetting. And you'll see here, after I kind of set up the different methods that we currently have, this uh, workaround method that I have in here that works really well. One way to do this is um, to come in and I'll just duplicate the object here. And, you know, for prosthetic applications, you might come in and draw right on the surface with curves like this. And once you create those curves, I'm going to bring my favorites palette up for some reason. It's not up there. I like favorites palettes. Um, emboss with curve is one of my favorites for like basic stuff. So if I select the curve, I click with the haptic on the inside, I dictate how far I want to offset it. So like, like the, let's say three millimeters offset outwards, three mil. Um, and then you can come back and Boolean this away and say, hey, let's Boolean from the offset object that I created. Right, so there I just quickly created an offset piece. Um, so that's like a good base way of doing stuff. Um, another method is show this again duplicate it and let's say that we want to use the shell cut clay option so this tool we actually made because we do a lot of offsetting ourselves um, using freeform as service we have a, a medical modeling division that offers that medical service to the market and we do a lot of the stuff um, you know this type of offsetting all the time for some of the workflows in there and uh, if i come over and i just draw a sketch this is just going to be real quick nothing fancy here This is like a multi-tool where I can draw a sketch and what the software is going to do with this shell cut clay, I select my sketch and then hit next. Now I'm going to tell it to offset and create an object that is four millimeters in thickness. Now what this is going to do is it's going to extrude that sketch. It's going to boolean that with an uh, um, an offset of the entire object, and then boolean the original shape away from all of that. So I know that doesn't make sense at first when I say it, because when the first time I learned this tool, I was like, "What do you mean by that? I don't understand." It's better if I just show how it works. So again. Extrude, offset, boolean, and I'll go ahead and hit apply. So it takes it a second to run. Um, but the idea is you're going to end up essentially with a brace that is where this shape, this extruded shape, intersects the anatomy there. Uh, that's what you're going to end up with. So there you go. You see how... 
it offsets the entire object and then it intersects this with that so it only creates the brace and then it subtracts the inside out right so if i turn this off you can see this is really cool but some of the restrictions are it cuts where you know it cuts through the entire shape flat because it's constrained to a plane um, so it's it's a really neat workflow and it does great for certain applications but what i had is with this with this workflow um, what if somebody has uh, two curves So they go around the object like this. And I'm using the haptic to go around the other side and feel it, right? Now, if I do a curve like that, I can either offset this whole side or that whole side. But what if I have two curves like this? And they're not flat. So here's, an, here's the example of why I might want to do this. Um, I have customers that might need to follow the anatomy and it comes down and then back up, right? So it, they're trying to create a, almost like a, a wrist brace like that. Now, the issue is when you come into Emboss with Curve, you can only select one curve. And it will only ups, offset one side or the other like we did here. So it's really designed for small bounded shapes. So I had the idea that instead of using the emboss uh, with curve tool, that I would use, we have a tool called emboss uh, image along curves. So I can emboss images on the surface of the part here. I'll just show one of these first where I can grab our logo and it's just using the grayscale bitmap of the part of the image and it's offsetting. Oops, I slid as I touched it there. Now, obviously, the I need a higher resolution for this tool to, to like look beautiful so I have a really low voxel resolution right now so if I hit apply you'll see that it offsets it if I raise the resolution it'll make it go higher but I don't feel like doing that right now so you can offset things with images right and that's the most basic tools emboss area with an image where I just stamp it with the haptic but you can also emboss with a wrapped image right um, so I can actually take a region like this guy And I can, you know, put a pattern inside of it. So if I just touch inside. All right, just a second. Let me uh, refit my curve. So this happens sometimes, right? So if I just grab that curve, turn the fitting on and off. and then go back over to emboss area. So you can emboss an area with an image, and in this instance, I'm just using that pattern. Now, what I had an idea is, if I wanna em emboss an area, so any area that's white is gonna be offset the dimension that we call out here. So in this instance, it's five, five millimeters. But I was like, what if we use a white box? Right? And then you can go positive or negative. It does the same thing as uh, emboss with curve does, right? By using just a white square. Now, how does this come into play with the along along curve so here's where the uh, pattern along curve comes in so if i grab pattern along curve i set my pattern to a white box i select two two curves 
it will stretch and pattern it between those two up and down. Now, one thing that happens, uh, Freeform is remembering it for me right now, but one thing that happens is there'll be like a chamfer here, and this is where the tri tip and trick really hinges on. So it's working right now because this, uh, the tool is remembering my settings from last time. But if what happens is if it's chamfered right here, what you can do is you can cycle over to single, say don't emboss, change your width to a large number, like maybe larger than that even that dimension there. So if you just say like 100, let's see if that works. Now toggle back over and select my two curves. And then this is the value, this max height value. This is the value that it's going to hit in an offset for you. Right? Um, so this is the trick here. So, And then if I say create in new piece, it'll automatically subtract the inside piece from me, for me. And now I've made this internal shape. So the trick, again, one more time, is the fact that when you're in here, set it for between two curves um, and then it it'll work but it has again it has this uh, chamfer on the edges that's not correct it's not 90 degrees to the surface so if I toggle over to the mode and change my width to a larger value like a much larger value and then toggle back over and reselect it'll offset it appropriately so that is my uh, emboss area along curve trick. So you can use multiple curves to emboss an area. Um, and then from here, you would obviously, this wouldn't fit on somebody's arm. So you have to create split joints and things like that, which is super easy to do. Um, but so that is my uh, emboss along curve uh, tutorial video to create braces.